Okay, welcome back to Crazy Cool Crochet. And this is part two of Crochet for Beginners. In the first part, we learned how to do the chain stitch and the single crochet. This is exactly what we were working on. And if you missed it, I will have the link down below in the white space to that uh, first video. Now we're gonna continue from what we just learned on the first part. So we've done the single crochets, a row of single crochet. Now I'm gonna show you how to put additional rows on. Okay, so we've gotten to the end of that first row. What we do now is chain one. So if you recall, the hook goes in front of the yarn, facing back, then you twist it, turn it towards you, turn it down so it catches the yarn in the hook, bring it through the loop, and that's a chain, just like when we did the foundation chain on the bottom. Okay, so there's one chain. When, you do, uh, when you're doing a second row of single crochet, you use one chain, and then you turn your work. Okay, now we are going to continue. Typically, you would skip that first space right there, and you go into the next space. But it depends on whatever your pattern happens to say. If it tells you to start in the first space, then you start in the first space. But I'm gonna go ahead and start in the second space. Now the spaces, you can kind of see them if you stretch out the work a little bit, or if you turn the work, you can see the chains that were forming at the top of the single crochets. I hope you can see that. Okay, so what you do is you enter the hook under that chain. So it looks like a V, the chain on top. Okay, so the hook goes under those two strands. You yarn over, remember we learned that's the terminology when you grab the yarn, it's called yarning over. You grab the yarn with the hook, pull it through. You've got two loops on the hook for your single crochet. Yarn over, pull the yarn through the two loops. And there's your single. Now we're just going to follow across. So insert the hook under the two strands yarn over, you're grabbing the yarn from the front, and pulling it towards you through the loop there, through the chain, yarn over, bring the yarn through the two loops on the hook. Okay, now you're filling in that second row. Insert under the two strands, hook goes in front of the yarn, grab the yarn, Pull it through the space, yarn over, pull it through the two loops. So insert the yarn under the two strands, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops. Insert the hook under the two strands, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And now, take a look at the work here. This will be the last space, the turning chain, or the beginning chain over here. If you leave it like this because you think, oh, I don't, I don't see a space. Well, take a look at that. That's gonna be hanging out here. You don't want that. Okay, so you actually will insert under the last chain there. You can see it's pretty, Easy to see it. So insert under those two strands, yarn over, bring the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now you can see you've created a perfect little row, two rows, with nice straight edges. Okay, now you can just keep right on going. 
For a third row, you would chain one, turn, insert the hook in the second space under the two strands, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and you would continue across. So you can practice with that for as many rows as you want, just so you get the hang of it. Okay, now we're going to continue. I'm going to change yarns just so we don't get bored. Let me grab the next one. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do the next most often used stitch, and that's a double crochet. So the first thing you always learn is the chain foundation, which we learned in the first video, and then the single crochet, and now the double crochet. There is another stitch in between the single and the double, and that's the half double, but um, you don't use that nearly as often as you use the double crochet. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the double crochet. Okay, so if you recall, we start with a slip knot. I like to just cross the yarn over itself, just like that. Take the front strand, bring it in through that loop, and hang on to both ends so you don't lose it. If you pull on the strands, it will tighten up the little noose there. Insert the hook, pull on both strands to tighten it up. And now we're going to work 11 chains, just like we did yesterday, if you recall, or in the previous video, I should say. The yarn goes in front, hook goes in front of the yarn. Grab it, twist it down so it's grabbing the yarn, pull through that first chain. The hook goes in front of the yarn, but facing back away from you. Twist it to grab that yarn, pull through the loop. It's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Actually, I'm going to go with 13, and I'll explain why in a minute. 12, 13. Okay, so for double crochets, you start in the third row from the hook, or the third chain from the hook, I should say. So there's the first one right underneath, there's the second one, and there's the third one. One, two, three. Okay, so we yarn over, insert the hook in the third chain, yarn over to grab the yarn and pull through. Now you've got three loops on the hook. Going to yarn over, pull through two loops only. Now you still have two remaining. Now you're going to yarn over, pull through those last two, and there's your second, or there's your double crochet. Okay, so typically that first turning chain here, the three, will count as a double crochet. Okay, so now we're going to go into the next chain. Yarn over, hook goes in front of the yarn, twist it. Now we're going to insert the hook with the two little loops here into the chain. Yarn over to grab the yarn, pull it through. You've got three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Now you've still got two on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the last two. And there's your double crochet. You will use this quite a lot in crochet projects. So you wanna get pretty proficient with this. Okay, so in the next chain, we'll do it again. Yarn over to grab the yarn. You insert it in the chain. Yarn over to grab the yarn again and pull it through the chain. Three loops on the hook. 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the last two. And then you would just keep on going down the line. Remember, you want to hold the work beneath the chain that you're going to enter. So you've still got pretty good control of it, but that chain is free so you can enter the hook. Yarn over, insert in the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Yarn over, insert in the next chain. Chains look like these. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert in the next chain. And there's the last chain right there. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the next row so you can be practicing. So when you're going to do another row of double crochets, when you get to the end, you typically will chain three. So there's one, two, three. And that's so it's the same length as the double crochets. Then you turn the work, yarn over. You will skip that very first space right there because you've already got that double crochet, the three chains. So you enter into the second space. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, pull through the last two loops. And go into the next space. Again, if you turn this around, you'll see that your stitches were forming a chain at the top with those Vs. And that's where you're inserting the hook under the two strands that form the V at the top. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through the last two. And then you continue all the way across. Just remember, you're inserting under the top two strands. And my yarn is getting little tangly and keep going here and now we're at the end and there's that last chain on top so you know you're going to insert Yarn over, insert the hook under those two strands. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And there you go. So now you've got plenty to work with. 